Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can add multiple inboxes to Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. It's pretty straightforward to change your inbox view in Gmail so that it shows groups of priority emails when it first loads. You can do this by going into the settings section in Gmail. To find that, I'll move my mouse to the top right of the Gmail inbox. You'll see there are a number of icons shown here, but the one I'm interested in is the cog or gear icon for the settings section. Let's click on that. A panel then opens that shows some of the more common settings changes you can make in Gmail. I'm going to move down this panel until I find the inbox type section. You can use this feature to set your inbox up in a number of different ways, but we're interested in the bottom option multiple inboxes. I'll click into the select option next to multiple inboxes to initially choose it. This immediately changes your inbox view to show those emails that have a star and those which are still in draft. If I now click on the customize link below the multiple inboxes option, a new page then loads that allows you to customize how you want to split out your inboxes in Gmail. You'll see that the search words is starred and is drafts are shown. These are used to tell Gmail to display any emails that match these searches as a priority inbox in Gmail. But of course you can add your own. I'm going to add a number of inboxes using different types of searches, but you should add the ones that suit you best. I'll start by adding an inbox that shows emails I've received from my friend. You can do this by using the keyword from, followed by a colon, and then I'll add their email address. I'll also give this section a name, but this is optional. To confirm that, I'll move to the bottom of the page and click on the Save Changes button. The inbox then reloads, and you'll see that all the emails I've received from Trudy are shown at the top of the inbox. Let's now go back into the customization option for multiple inboxes, and I'll show you some other types of searches you can add. If I don't explain how to add an inbox that you're looking for, then pop a question in the comments below and I'll get back to you on how to do that. I'll start by showing important emails. To do that, I'll add the keyword is followed by a colon and the word important. I'll also give that a title. If I want to show emails from a specific folder or label, again, I'll add the keyword is followed by a colon, but this time, I'll add the name of the folder or label that I want to display. If you want to only show those emails that have attachments in them, you can do this by adding the keyword has, followed by a colon, and the keyword attachment. And lastly, if you want to group those emails that contain an important word or phrase that you want to track, then add that word inside quotation marks. Once you're happy with each of your inbox sections, don't forget to move to the bottom of the page and click on the Save Changes button to confirm them. Once my inbox reloads, you'll see that it has now been split into each of the sections I defined on the customization page. If you want even more inspiration for the different types of inbox you can add, check out the link in the description below to the Google support page that shows many of the different search keywords you can use. I hope you find this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.